Yeah, the hides are so nice. Oh. You can hear the birds. There's lots of greenery here in a private subdivision that's very hilly and windy. It's so nice. off guard. Basta may camera, nagpapakita. Ah. <laughs> ano ba naman to? Tinapatan ko lang ng camera. Nag-adjoice ka ba? Hey, Jones. Hello. Hmm? Tago ka ba eh? <laughs> Kita rin. Even that sink. This sink is really nice. Actually, uso rin to eh. Pinakuha ko sa nato lang. Okay lang. <laughs> Wag mo ito sasama, James, ha? <laughs> sasama niya yan. <laughs> Sigurado sasama yan, James. This is such a vibe, honestly. After the shoot, just chilling, enjoying the breeze. <sighs> okay, so medyo haggard na ako. Don't mind me. <laughs> I just wanted to show you this really, really nice house. So, for context, yung bahay na to, actually, it's very in. It's very trendy. Uso siya, especially for 2021. Let's just admire that view. And I wanted to highlight some of the things that make the trend. Like the, the finishes that they did in particular, that's very in right now in 2021. And their take on trends. So let's go in. The first thing you will notice actually is the high ceiling. So obviously, matagal naman ang uso yung high ceiling, but these days in particular, talagang high ceiling ang goal ng mga bahay ngayon na tinatayo. And this house does that. But instead of just high ceiling, it's actually multiple layers. So iba ba siyang level mismo. So it's very interesting. Throughout the house, you'll see that it's very multi-layered. Diba doon? Yes. 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 Thank you. That's all I needed for you. <laughs> So this beautiful finish, it's a parang bare cement finish. Okay, hey, look at it. Hopefully you can see the texture. It's so nice. This one is in a medium gray or basically cement color. And then there are other parts na... Let me show you. In the no, no, no entertainment area. You have your kitchen over there, you're living here, your photographer here. So... <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the other wall. This one, this one is in black. And you can also see the texture. So it's the same as the one in gray. Uh, it's the same as the gray one, except this one is black, that one is gray. This <laughs> one man. is, uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's it's so good. Good, guys. So mostly houses that have these are using PVC. So That's this true. one is actually mahogany. mahogany. Yeah, it's mahogany. solid wood mahogany. Solid so, mahogany. all of these, pati yon actually. Yon. So, it, most common houses, kasi nga, since uso siya, a lot of houses, wait lang, let me switch the camera. And since a lot of houses are doing it, oftentimes it's PVC na ginagamit nila. But for this house, talaga like solid wood mahogany yung ginamit. So, that's mm -hmm. some. Even the steps themselves have so much detail. You guys see that? Wait, I think this is a better view. Alright, yeah, this one's better. See? So, it's not a... Typical slab, they actually have a bit of detail in there. It's very nice. And the rails are very industrial. It's almost uh, high tension wire like. I mean, it probably is high tension wire of some kind. But they adapted it to look this sleek. Also, those shadows are so nice. And here we're seeing more of the cement finish. This time it's more natural color. Great. <laughs> And then up the stairs we go. And again, that's another thing. 
wood accents on the ceiling. So it's very dramatic. Somehow it's subtle, but when you actually get to look at it, it's very beautiful. And a lot of homes and builders have a take on what finish they want to do for their ceiling. Here we have a perfect example of the cement finish, both in gray and black. Let me just, excuse me, come a little closer so that we can see. So it has a very industrial vibe to it. But actually, it's in a man. They're just, again, in different colors. And here's John taking photos of the place so that you guys can admire this house in IG. It's me again. <laughs> yes, it's always you. <gasps> So, <laughs> okay, wow, hello mirrors. So these are all in matte black mirrors. And then this part is wood, which again, is very, very trendy. What's nice about it though, even if it's trendy, it's also quite timeless. So it's gonna take a while before these go out of style. In fact, if done right, they won't go out of style. And I believe these, because they're so straight to the point and simple, probably won't go out of style, at least not in the next 30 years or so. And syempre, no? Pinag-uusap ako yung kahoy, pero inikita niyo yung bathtub. <laughs> so you have these really nice and simple fixtures here, which are also very timeless. Due to the fact that it's simple. Simplicity talaga has its perks, eh? And then here we have a second kitchen, which is more for entertainment, really, especially since it's in front of the swimming pool. But I wanted to show you something else, and that is the wood panel. So this is what Don and I were talking about earlier. Most houses, a lot of houses have this kind of design element, but usually they're made out of PVC. This one is made out of solid wood mahogany. In fact, all of the doors in this house is made out of recycled nara. Nara, except the main door, because the main door is made out of mahogany as well. But they're the indoor, the, the rest of the doors are made out of recycled nara. In fact, actually, the mahogany is also recycled. So the materials were sustainably sourced. And look at that view though. This one. This view never goes out of style. Another thing that's super trendy are huge windows. Now, just in case these windows don't look huge to you, hold on, let me, let me put down the camera. Okay, I just want to give you some perspective. So just so you know, they've got some tiny windows. This is me for scale. I'm five foot four. Five foot five if you include the tiny heel in my boot. And this is really high ceiling, super trendy right now. And it always comes back, right? In cinema, that is old school, but it always comes back in this high ceiling. It's just flat out impressive. And so I feel like the same Almost above the ceiling. This is about, I'd say this is about 0.60 off the ground, more or less. 0.50 around that. And then the rest of it goes all the way up to the ceiling. And this is just any age in here, this is always just impressive. Check that out. The light is trailing inside the room. The room is not like I don't know why the light is there. And finally, one of the things that's super trendy right now that's very well adapted into this house is layering. Check out all of the detail, the texture that you see. It's just got so many beautiful layers. And down here, we have a sort of zen garden. So from the swimming pool over here, which is really nice, right? You have some plants and greenery. You have two steps down. We have different kinds of tiles and then to your zen garden which has a single bonsai but i'm sure you guys can do a little bit better than that you can imagine what you can do with this nice little pocket garden that you have here this is what the back of the house looks like we weren't able to shoot this for the house tour because the ground is really soft from the rain maputek in other words so we couldn't really like risk it earlier but now that because i'm wearing boots i can go here i can show you where the water goes when it falls from the infinity edge. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. It's so nice from behind as well. Finally done with the house tour. We're done with the shoot. We're about to go home. And I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this behind the scenes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. 
and let me know what you guys think about this format because generally we do make these kinds of videos we just never really shared them because it's behind the scenes but i mean if you guys like it then we're going to continue sharing it and it's, it's fun for us i mean we're already doing it anyways so sharing with you is you know it's just another fun thing we get to do but yeah i'm very oily very tired but very happy that i get to do this for you guys so hopefully i'll see you in the next one let us know if you like it give this a thumbs up Maybe even a subscribe if you really like it. And that being said, thank you guys. See you on the next one. Bye.